Hi, so since you all seem to think that the first uh, color play video was useful, I thought I'd do another quick one. Um, so right here today I have my trusty color wheel with me. And what I wanted to talk about today, we talked about primary colors the last time, yellow, red, and blue, the three colors that you can't make. And then we talked about the complementary colors, we talked about tints and shades, and today I wanted to talk about analogous colors. So if you look around the color wheel, you have a range of colors, including the primaries, their complementaries, but you also have the colors that lay next to each other. Okay, so here, you know, you have blue and blue-green and green and yellow-green. All of these would be considered analogous colors. And so what I thought I'd do today is to play in my little uh, notebook in our gathering place um, with these analogous colors on some watercolor paper because I'm too lazy to break out my acrylics. So I've just taken two little pieces of cut out, two little pieces of watercolor paper, stuck them into my gathering place. I have my watercolor set and a few watercolor pencils, not that many because I don't have that many. Cup of water, my trusty color wheel, and what else do I have? I think that's it. And so I'm just gonna play with these, um, with the color wheel and with the analogous colors and see what I come up with. And I hope that you two get out your paints and you think about a color palette that's made up of the analogous colors on the color wheel. And I guess what I can do is to post a little picture of this in our group so that everybody has an idea of which colors lay next to each other on the color wheel. And then I invite you to just play in your little gathering place and see which um, color palettes you enjoy. Okay. So to get started, I have this little brush that actually has water up here in the base and a brush, oops, where's my, and a brush tip. Um, and I thought what I'd do is just to begin by wetting the paper. Um, no real rhyme or reason, but I figured I would wet the paper. I have a friend, uh, her name is Haley Carla, and she makes these full moon and um, medallions. Um, in her in her art journal and so I guess I was kind of thinking about how she does that and I thought maybe I would give it a try although she uses a lot of inks but I figure I'm too lazy to go get the inks too so I'm just gonna start out by wetting a circle on my paper and play with some of these colors and see what happens um, so looking at my color wheel I think I'm gonna go with uh, purple and red and orange, red orange, and see what happens as my first my first go. And of course, this isn't rocket science, so you know, just go for it. And I am absolutely terrified of watercolors. I think people who paint with watercolors have some special special powers. Uh, because they tend to like to do what they want, which I sort of like but I don't feel like I have real skill with watercolors, which probably just means that I haven't practiced enough. Okay, so that's sort of a true orange. So I guess I'm sort of over here on my color wheel. So how about if I go next to that with a sort of yellow ochre color, which has a little orange mixed in. And I'm just gonna allow myself to, to play. And I like drips, so I'm trying to make some drips here. 
And the good news about working this way is that you don't um, really make muddy colors. So let's see, where do I want to go next? I bought a pure yellow. So of course I'm already off my plan again. And I'm going to go back in, back in, to the original orange. And now I'm going to move this over to my palette and see if I can do some color mixing. And I hope that you all had a chance to mix some colors on your own after the first video. I'm going to mix that true orange with a little red, if I can figure out where my red is. I've mixed the, I don't remember now, I think I mixed the orange with the red. So that takes me over here into a more red-orange color. Also think of this particular palette as working with um, warm colors because these colors are very warm. Remember that our warm colors are reds, oranges, and yellows. So I hope you've all had a chance or will have a chance to go take in the, um, the exhibition at the National Archives Gallery in VG. It was quite interesting to see um, the different styles of all the women and to hear their stories because a lot of the women in the exhibition have only started painting fairly recently. do some of those lines here. that one dry a little bit and move over to the other side and try a different color palette um, and maybe I'll do a little bit more color mixing so let's start with this green here it looks a little bit like a sap green
looking at my wheel, I can go from this green to maybe a yellow green by adding in some yellow. Mix some of that green with some blue and make a blue green color. So, all three of these colors would live next to each other on the color wheel. Nobody has to see your little gathering place book. It's purely for your own practice and play. And this little exercise is just about the color. So back to the original green. And now I'm using it just a little bit stronger. You know, I love what happens when the colors collide. So right now we have the yellow green, green, and the blue green, which are all close to each other. Um, so I'm going to go in now and add a fourth color and add this blue. Okay, so let's go with this. <laughs> Now I'm adding some of these colors that are close to each other. So now I'm adding the blue in with some of the yellow and the green. So we know that blue and yellow already make green. Oh, so let's just go with that. Let's see what that does. So what I'm liking about this is that I started with very, very pale colors and now I'm bringing in some stronger colors.
So I'm going to stop here with this one and I'm going to let it dry. This one still needs a little bit more drying time and then maybe I'll come back in and do some more. But if not, I think you have the idea that you can create quite a few different color palettes just using an ana um, analogous color palettes, using your color wheel and taking a look at the colors, two or three or four colors that lay next to each other and seeing what uh, interesting shapes and patterns you can come up with. Okay.